of course come from the word jihad the word jihad of course as we know is a very honorable label that many people have tried to uh, tarnish uh, these days and uh, call uh, those who they call terrorists into jihadists and uh, and all kind of of different uh, uh, different ways of treating the, the, the those labels and because jihad is a very honorable label in Islam I advise every Muslim not to run away from this and to challenge anyone who is using those uh, words in a negative connotation and not to take it uh, uh, as an easy way to be scared of the word jihad or to be accused that somebody is going to make jihad or 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 because equating jihad with terrorism this is a crime by itself and this crime comes back hunting the people who do it because uh, if you do that it means you're going to encourage some ignorant people somewhere to think that killing civilian is would be a jihad and then they will come back and do this kind of things but in order for us if we are to honestly and truly fighting terrorism and fighting this kind of, of action which is directing uh, or inflicting uh, harm uh, against civilian for whatever cause political religious or social or whatever uh, and and then call this jihad the, this would be totally wrong and it would, and, and taking away the the context of the word jihad uh, in islam out of its uh, meaning uh, and this is why I never allowed anybody to see it, including uh, Paul Martin, who was at the time the Prime Minister, in a meeting with him when he mentioned that word. Although she is jihadist, they said, I'm sorry, you cannot say that, because jihad is a very honorable word in Islam. Say all those terrorists, or say all those radicals, they say all those extremists, but not jihad is not because people are seeing it in the media, then people who are smart would continue to say it. And he did apologize later on, and actually he was about to make another mistake. He says, oh, no, Jihad, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> says, yeah. So he was okay, he was a nice guy, he accepted it. But I think we should never be worried to stand up and right away clarify this. Because if we don't, then actually some Muslims talk about uh, terrorists as jihadist. And they relate to it in that way. And they are Muslims, so they uh, emphasize that false and negative stereotype. So we have to make sure that we always uh, clarify. So mujahada comes from jihad, and mujahada is to exert efforts, to exert efforts in oneself. And this is why they started uh, Imam Nawawi. In this chapter, very interesting, the the, ahadi, the, uh, the, the verses from the Quran, by saying, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا And those who exert effort on us, make jihad on us, and the, the, this is the meaning of jihad here, covers about everything, including clearly understanding the principles of Islam, how to apply it and what to do. So those that will exert efforts to learn, will exert efforts to apply and to practice Islam, we shall show them the, the way, we shall show them the road, we shall, we shall make sure that they, will, that, they, 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 um, that they will be guided and that they will have the right uh, direction. So, وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ so indeed, وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ That indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with those who do better. So for the, the, the magnanimity is not just to do what is asked of you, but to do, to, to, to do a bit more, to be generous in, in performing your obligation and the extras. Like not just make salat of dhul, for example, but if you go to two rak'ah sunnah or, or even two before and two after, or even four before and two after, all this would, uh, would be ihsan, muhsineen. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah also, have given the ma'iyah of Allah, the ma'iyah that Allah is going to be with, meaning in total support, in total guidance, in always, always with. So meaning, no, nothing can deceive you, nothing can, uh, can go by you, uh, uh, nothing can harm you, because if Allah is with you, then Allah is seeing over you, that is what with, with means. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is everywhere all the time, he can see and he is he can, he, aware of everybody, of course, uh, uh, all the time, it doesn't matter where you are. But being with you, that directly shows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would support you and, and uh, would side with you in your, again, in your trials, in your difficulties, in your problems and so on. So, inna Allah la ma'al muhsineen. So, those that will do better in this mujahada, mujahada is leading into the word mujahada min mufa'ala. Min mufa'ala is to, 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 to continue to, uh, to exert those efforts and to try and never give up, never say I'm tired, no, no, this is enough because going back in, in A'mal one day, doing so much of it and then giving up and sitting down, that is not the way Islam encourages. But doing a little bit every day, 
that you continue to remind you who you are and what you're supposed to do, this is what Rasulullah says. Even little, but consistent, is much better than beacon and uh, inconsistent or radical or, or uh, sporadic, like it comes from one, one, one time to another. That uh, So this is where it is.